Welcome back. <laughs> Feels like you never left. Uh, this is part four on a question mark uh, part series for now we're at the timing belt. I'm afraid, but don't be afraid. I'll screw up so you don't have to. I got a spare engine anyway, it's all good. I feel like I should have done this on the engines. Anyway, just because I have an engine on an engine stand inside a garage where I can you know, see everything and not get oil in my eyeballs. Who needs that? Alright, so first thing we're going to do, as per the three whole pages of description on the shop manual, is set the timing. Sure, come with me. Yeah, battery's dying. Uh, according to the shop manual, right here, it says up. Well, it needs to be facing up. I'm going to work on that, and i got to change the battery in this thing. Okay. Now, I have no idea how much battery life I have here. So, obviously, the right thing to do is shove it on the tripod and let it, let it slide. What you're going to need... Hello? <laughs> anyway, it's a 19 millimeter socket. Apparently the camera is like, nah, man, they don't need to know. While the helicopter goes by, I'm gonna turn this crankshaft uh, towards the, uh, you know, correct position. Also, it rotates counterclockwise, I think, yep. This is fun because the car is so small that I can shove my socket in here and like, there we go, turn it while looking at it. Come on. Oh, I wonder if I should take the spark plugs out. Oh, so much compressor. You're so compressed. There we go. Ow. Can I get both arms in here? Yep. Don't hop off the bolts, you're going to hurt me. Come on, do the spin. Why was it so far? Oh! Okay. Now there's supposed to be lines. Someplace. To line up. Don't really see them. All of these spark plug wires and shoving them in the other car because I don't want them on here. I don't want them on the other car. And then take out number one. Just don't worry about the order. I can do as I do. Just don't listen to me. But, as you can likely see, the order kind of stays rather nice. Now you're going to want to grab the... Why do I have a socket this big? 13 16 socket. I guess we're getting into spark plugs now. There we go. <sighs> An electric Mustang just drove up. Oh, that's, that's, that's tight. I wonder what condition these are in. Changed them fairly recently. Why is this happening? Huh. I think this is what's known as a perfect heat range.
Alright, I'm gonna go check what the Mustang wants. Roy, I've already verified that we're at TDC. The spark plug honestly looks kind of fantastic. Yeah. So, gonna go ahead and uh, shove it back in. These are, well, these are always fun because you don't know quite what angle to thread at. Okay, there it is. It'll go in at some point or another, right? There we are. Where'd I shoot the ratchet to? There it is. Just give this a good old snug. Because I just don't want to find out. Other than tighten it, you know? <laughs> While driving. Okay, now. I want to see how reasonable it is to think that I can actually get this nut off. Oh, it's turning. Huh, we may have met a match here. Yeah, we're at max power. The other issue is that it's turning everything. Well... Oh, there we go. Yep, we got it. <laughs> Should have known better than to worry. However... Oh! Oh, that's oil, right? For a second there, I thought it was cracking right half in two. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta reline that up. And uh, just snap that bolt off real fast. All right, in, in order to line it up properly after the nut came out, I went ahead and wrapped the belt around here. Now it's, I mean, it's perfectly lined up now, so I'm not gonna do it, but, oh, see? actually some play here I might have to do some more work than I expected but you can grab the thing with a belt both hands you'll have leverage and you'll be able to turn it now I got to see if I can get this pulley out of here get the belt out while I'm at it there we are oh that's on there uh -huh. I need a puller which I do not have also, while we're at it, what the heck happened here? There's a whole area missing. What? Didn't expect that to... Didn't expect that... Oh my god. Out of breath a little. I did not expect that, that to work so well. Basically, I mean, with both hands, I just grabbed it and worked it back and forth. She's out. I feel like I probably shouldn't have put that side in the dirt. But I don't think it matters because this is clearly in need of replacement. I wonder if I can get one. Ain't that a problem? Yeah, no, that, that's, not, uh, that's not there for balancing reasons. She broke. Okay. Well, that's 310-ish. K kilometers for you, I guess. What about the seal here? Are you, uh, are you sealing? I don't know. Okay, well. Oh, it's, I mean, <laughs> that's off. That's, that's honestly the thing I was most worried about, but I guess when you got this beast, you don't gotta worry about much, <laughs> aside for snapping bolts. Alright, so there we are, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I just gotta get the lower cover off. And uh, continue, I guess. 
It's getting really chilly though and rather, I mean, you know, it still looks bright, but the sun is like there now, so we're going to run out of daylight real fast, but I am pretty happy with the progress. I'm going to try to remember to insert this in the alternator video. Uh, future me is mad at past me for not realizing that it would be a good idea to take this freaking this pulley off over here. You know, when there was still tension on the on the belt. Would have been great. But I didn't. Ha! <laughs> past me, what were you thinking? Now I'm not saying it's not doable without belt in place. I am saying when you're down to the crossroads, it's a lot easier to just do this. Why is that? What is going on? Well, that's perfect. I'm trying to make a rock and roll related pun. Did I break it a bolt or something? Anyway, uh, that's good. So now I gotta scour the ground for the triangle washer thing and the nut that I must have broken, or was it loose already? No, it's not broken, it's not in there. Hmm, perfect! Also, if the belt is on, no, yeah, probably still would have happened. Oof. Ah, there's a light! Oh, well. One. That's, that's not a bolt, where is it? Where's the bolt? Oh, here it is. Okay. There we go. Back to oh, our regular scheduled programming. Which, by the way, that's coming off. There's a bolt there, there's a bolt there. There's a bolt up there a little bit. Just get all the bolts. Oh, I'm about done for today. I've said that already. I don't seem to care that I'm done. But this this whole climbing up and down and up and down thing is, is less pleasant than I'd like. Oof. Oh, one more thing. Upon reassembly of this, this goes on top. All right, it goes on top. Don't don't put it underneath. Your stick goes on top. Also, there isn't a single nine millimeter in this whole car. But I thought a 10 was becoming a 9. Thankfully it wasn't. Oh good, the batteries are dead again. Perfect. Anyway, I'm going to finish taking that cover off now that that pulley's out of the way. And, uh, stuff. Well, folks, it works out that uh, we're here. Got a bunch of things going on. Looks like the tensioner is tensioning. Up is up, at a slight angle. Apparently you gotta move the teeth anyway, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but at any rate, there is a lot of oil in there. There's a lot of oil in there. There is way too much freaking oil in there. Oh boy. Oh, I forgot my camera was dying. Anyway, I think this is gonna That'll about do it. Uh, I don't really need an intro for this part, but because uh, I already have one. But this is like a second intro because this is look how fun this is. So uh, a month has passed, maybe more. Why did I do this? Why did I? No. Anyway, everything's fine, as you can tell. I'm just trying to see what I uh, what I have, what I don't have, what, what what's going on. Uh, the the dream of driving this around before snow hit. Well, that's clearly gone out the window. Okay, if I walk over there, I'm gonna slide, and I'm gonna end up dead. So we're gonna go the other way. 
I just want to pop the trunk, you see. Anyway, so this is fine. My favorite part of the situation is, well, not only the snow that's under the car, but the snow that's over and all around and entombing the wheels that are way bigger than the ground clearance of the car. <sighs> Making it nearly impossible to get the car out of here until a thaw, which is happening Thursday, but I got I got work to do on Thursday and I can't be here, so that's good. Yeah, go in the trunk. Okay, good it didn't. Oh, a battery. That's good. I'll just I'll just put that back. Oh no, apparently not. I don't know what's happening. What am I looking for? Yeah. Oil pan, gasket, other gaskets. Um don't need that. Ah, this is what we want. Get out of there. Come on now. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Alright, uh, that's just a timing belt. Tensioner. Here we go. What's this? Oh. Well, that's cool. Put that on. I need to just figure out how the hell this works, you know? Oh, it's watery under there. Right. I don't really know. I, I just don't. Okay, so the bolt goes here, I suppose. I don't know if I'll have to figure it out. I don't got a choice, you know. Got to change it. It's noisy and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. This is on the ground. Yep, that's on the ground. So I gotta lift it, which means I gotta get the snow out of here. So uh, I don't know. We're gonna do some preparations and. Uh, get at it because there's nothing nothing better than working in the cold and the snow and the humidity on a car that's essentially frozen in place and uh, probably isn't gonna move until 2022 I don't know well I don't know I have to dig this out like it's not impossible it's just you know why why is it like this <sighs> well, it's a bit earlier in the video for this, but uh, battery's gonna die, so that's good. Uh, bother. A guy has to keep in mind what kind of weather he's gonna be working in, and dress accordingly. So I did the right thing, and put running shoes on. Now, let's see. That weird-ass bolt, which perhaps I should point out a little bit. This one. Oh, and there. Uh, it needs to be removed um, in order to do the thing. I was just covering the microphone, but hey, it's all good. So, uh, I'm gonna figure out what the hell size it is, and then uh, go from there, because there's also a weird spring on it. So we're 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 gonna you know we're gonna start. Most likely sizes are always 14, 10, 12, 17, 8. This is starting to look like a 14 to me. Are you even a bolt? Hold on. I originally removed this to uh, grant myself a space or two. So we're gonna shove it over. Let's see. Why? What is? There's schmoo on my key. Rude. This might. There's enough room for a socket here, but oh, not 14. Went all the way over. Wait a minute.
Yeah, no, not 14. Too small. Too small. Too small. Come here, you. Let's try the crooked 12. Yeah, okay. 12 it is. Alright, so. It's not cold today, but it's never warm when snow's on the ground. Things are melting. It's going to be fairly warm for most of the week, so. Alright, now that we got the right size. Get it in there, just okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Whew. Okay, so that does loosen, and uh, now I'm gonna lie down, I guess. I'm gonna try to grab a couple tools I think I might need. I'm not sure, there's a spring there. So hopefully, I brought some like long nose pliers and crap because otherwise we're gonna have the best time. <sighs> this, is, this is also brand new. It's very nice. I don't see them. It feels like the first time. It feels like the very first time. I may, I may like grab long nose pliers from somewhere, but I really. Really, probably should have prepared more. Anyway, we got a flathead. Not only does it drive screws, but it also drives everything that you need it to drive in a straight line with a hammer. So that'll probably work. I feel like there's less space here than there was before. Oh, oh I have regrets. I have so many regrets. Would you like to hear my regrets? It's a very long list. I'm going to be so wet after this, it's going to be really unpleasant. Oh god. Uh, I can't. This is... My level of discomfort is all the way up. Where is the tensioner now? I gotta get up. It's getting through my pants. It's getting through everything. Here at uh, AOB Motorworks, we're committed to bringing you the finest strategies and high-end <coughs> solutions that you're accustomed to. So, I did exactly what the motto suggests. And, uh, <coughs> instead of wood, you know, wood is cheap. I uh, decided to lift the engine a little bit to be able to take the engine mount from the front off uh, with the brake disc in a box. That'll keep the engine happy and uh, it looks super solid. So we'll do that. I'm pretty sure the brake disc uh, center bore is bigger than the than you know the the little foot on the jack so it'll be really safe and stable uh, so we're gonna take the engine mount off now because I can't seem to get my you know big meaty claws into where they need to go without getting this out of the way what size are you maybe it's 17 or some shit and not only that but uh, you know the belt has to come off by there anyway so Sometimes you just you just got to do what you take. It's just you, you know you got to make it happen. That's 16. Did I grab 13 just now? <sighs> it's either 14 or 17. There's no other damn sizes on this car. It looks like 14 to me. Oh yeah, I fully grabbed 13. What a fool I've been. Okay. I already explained what's happening. So. This is probably going to Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't bring my 14 millimeter socket.
never stop and reevaluate your situation, but I did. <laughs> uh, put a little bit of lubricant and uh, gave it some tappy tap taps. Uh, I'm gonna try lifting the engine just a touch more than it already is. And then that'll also give me an idea of whether or not all of this is gonna come crashing down the moment I uh, release these bolts. Okay, there's tension on the GAC. <sighs> Let's see what happens. It's possible there has not been enough time to have this lubricant make any effect, but I also tightened the other bolts, so that'll take some pressure off of this one. Oh my god. We're bending a ratchet, that's what we're doing. I need more power, baby. Uh, you point to it, the thing? More or less. Uh, it's it's loose now. So, just put a little more tension on the jack. I released tension before. And uh, these should both... Yeah, good. Good, okay. don't think that's gonna move so we're just gonna I'm just gonna try to you know move it out of the way a little bit otherwise I gotta drop the engine a whole bunch I was a fool and I didn't grab anywhere near as much tools as I should have this is the job for a slightly shorter ratchet okay just bought this not long ago. It's one that I haven't actually used yet, but when you want a stubby ratchet, you want a stubby ratchet. Okay, this is good news. The engine isn't dropping. Okay. You definitely want it to be controlled when it does. Oh boy. Must have dropped a little bit. <laughs> uh, this is loose. I'm gonna put it on the cowl along with the lug nuts. It seems tighter for some reason. Yeah. I'm feeling not quite aligned here. But I don't dare lower the jack. Actually, this is probably the best time to lower the jack while there's still a bit of a nut on there. Just a touch. A touch too much. It's not copyright if I sing it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now the engine is ripe and ready to fall right out of the car. That's what you want. That's good. It's definitely that's good. Okay. Let's see if this bends upwards. Oh, it totally doesn't. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just lower the engine a little bit. Nothing goes to hell like when I was doing the transmission. It probably will. That's as low as I dare go. Hopefully we have room for a belt to slide through here. Not, not really. Okay, we're gonna have to dare a little harder. I'm sure it'll be fine. Brake disc is falling off the jack. So I have to assume that we're not holding the engine up anymore. It's not really going to fit a belt. Which means, joy of joys, I can tell you this. That's like a 19, I think. Maybe it's a 21. Doesn't seem like it's a 17. 
Why did I grab the long one? Okay, so we're talking about a 19. So I have my doubts about this doing anything, but let's find out, I guess. Put this on here. The objective. Out of my way, boy. The objective is just loose enough, you know? Definitely want to put your hole back in it. I'm probably going to knock the tripod over. I ain't got room. Oh, break the ratchet. All right, we're just going to drop. Oh, fuck. We're just going to drop everything. Make everything fall. That's not coming off. <sighs> Stress out the other engine mounts as much as possible. Oh, cool, it didn't drop anymore. All I achieved is shoving the brake disc on the ground so I can get back into the swamp that's under the car. Oh, I think it did drop a little more. Not really, no. Well, that engine mount must have been doing a whole hell of a lot. Jesus. Okay, there's room. Apparently I could just lift it by hand to get it back in, so that's good. <laughs> Why'd I put a jack under here in the first place? Alright. I'm gonna try and get this stupid plastic thing off in the meantime. It's probably useful, but... It's probably more in my way than... Useful. Do I have pliers? No. Do I have a screwdriver? I could probably okay. use a screwdriver. I'm going to have to grab a pair of pliers to put this uh, long nose, maybe long nose vice grip, something like that, to put this back together. But for now, there's enough loose here to work the belt off. And then we'll reset the timing afterward. Ooh, is that a crack? No, we're good. So, I'm going to get these, this belt out of here, ideally without moving anything around too much. I think it'll fit. If not, I'll move the engine around until it does. Uh, and then, I'm going to clean all of this as much as I can. It'll be easier with the belt out of the way. And uh, we'll get back to putting the belt on after, but this... Uh, okay, let's, let's try to get the belt. Oy! Oh god, I love the snow, it's great. I think this will end like this part of the video. Because, you know. Oh shit, what was that? Weird. Probably the screwdriver. Yeah, so. I just, I'm very distracted by just how wet and cold I am right now. It's not very pleasant. I also have to change the oil pump on this. I can't get down there from here. I have to... Definitely want to take note of the routing before you take the belt off. That's the crank there, so we're off pretty much at the at the bottom. So that's uh, that's the process. Uh, the, <laughs> tune in for the next part where I figure out what to do about the tensioner. Uh, it's hard to see. There's a spring on the tensioner, but the engine mount is in the flipping way. I might do another video just for, like, ease of explanation with the one on the engine stand, I think it would be a lot quicker and a lot more pleasant. But this one shows just how much of a pain this can be, so that's good. Alright, so I'm gonna get on to replacing the oil pump and other components and cleaning. But, uh... I think that'll be all for this video because I'm pretty sure it's getting pretty long now. So <laughs> tune in for the next part of the timing belt replacement on AOB Motorworks. I'm probably going to work on
the truck in the meantime so that the content is varied because people actually really like the truck. I'm doing this for the 3G's group, but the truck gets views, this doesn't, so. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Hope you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. See you next time.